aid to the church in need was born from a wound. It was born from a wound that happened in Germany when Germany was divided between East Germany and West Germany. East Germany being under the communists and the Federal Republic of Germany being on the other side. And from that wound of division, concern for the suffering brethren in Eastern Germany was born. So, the division is gone in Germany, but the division in the world continues. And this division is certainly not God's plan for us. The cause of all these divisions is sin. So, Christians in many parts of the world are still being persecuted. I saw with my very own eyes how, how persecution was done. People getting burned alive, priests getting shot in the head while handcuffed, while tied. I managed to interview one parishioner who said that every time he goes to Mass, every time he goes to Mass, he considers that as his last Mass. Because he doesn't know when he comes out of the church if uh, a crazy suicide bomber was there just intending to blow them up, up to pieces. So this congress that we just held here in the Archdiocese of Dengayon Dagupan in Pangasinan is a kind of an eye-opener for me. And it is a kind of a challenge that many of our brothers and sisters in other parts of the world, even in here in our country, the Philippines, are really undergoing such persecution. And my heart goes out to them. And surely I will organize our community to continue praying for them and to continue praying for the conversion of the persecutors. So may our faith be strengthened and may God be with us and God strengthen us. Uh, it's enlightening to be in the Congress. Uh, attending such Congresses uh, helped for me to be enlightened of what is happening in the world, especially for those Christians who are persecuted. And uh, in this way, I was able to know how Christians are being dealt with I believe I can help through praying, not only for those uh, being persecuted, but those who are the persecutors. I challenge to be not just only a prophet in a way of being a church, but also being martyr for the sake of the kingdom of God. So I think this is a very nice opportunity to be in contact and be close to so many Christians that they are suffering the persecution today. And the testimony of the Bishop of Marawi and the different participants really help us to open our mind and to try to spread out a new culture. We could also persecute through words, kill people emotionally. What we must do is to stop indifference, to stop discrimination. But uh, we are uh, a different kind of church that, that uh, has this particular mission to offer the hand of reconciliation. And that is what we have been doing all along this past 41 years to, to engage our Muslim brothers and sisters in, in a, a common project of peace building and reconciliation. Truth to tell brothers and sisters, 
what is happening in Marawi, in Egypt, in Syria, in many parts of the world should affect us. It should hurt us. It should disturb us. It should trouble us. No man is an island. No man stands alone. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan.